Okay, good evening all. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Um, good evening. my name is Ingozi Yukachi Lois. Retired Barista Ngozi Yukachi Lois. Um, a good sister to um Nivin, Nivin Momo. So I welcome you all to this program tonight. And I'm encouraging each and every one of us oh, this is special. to make this as exciting because the man we're here to talk about and celebrate is an awesome man. So before we go any further, I'm going to hand over to Mr. Momo's elder brother, uh, Mr. Tony Momo. Sir, um, I'm going to hand over to you to greet everybody and perhaps open for us. We have other ministers in our midst that will also come in and join in terms of prayer. We have those that will sing, those that will give word of encouragement, but we want to recognize your presence in our midst today. And we want to recognize that you are the head of the family. So bearing to that, we're giving you the honor, sir, to just take over for the time being, sir. Mr. Tony Momo, over to you, sir. Good evening, all. Thank you very much. My name is Dr. Tony Momo. I thank you all for the ability to organize this uh, work here. May the blessings of the Lord be with you and continue to see every one of us. Especially at this period, we are talking. Pray God, and give the departed a resting day. That at the end of the day, all of us will be found rapturable for God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much. Um, excuse me, sorry, I'm going to mute everyone. 
sure that how his phone will be clear. Sorry about that. Thank you very much. Sir, please can you unmute yourself? There is, sir, can you unmute yourself? You said what? Okay, that's fine. Hello? It's fine. I have. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, okay. I think you can carry on. Hello? Yeah, we can carry on. Thank you very much. We are all, right, all with sir. you. We are all hooked up to this now. So we can carry on. Thank you, sir. Brother Philip, uh, Brother Philip, can you wave your hand so that the moderator can locate you and you can take over? Brother Philip, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Okay, raise your hand so that the moderator can see you and highlight you and you can take over. Thank you. Brethren, thank you all for coming to join us at a time like this to support our family, to, to ask for God's presence in their home, to ask for God's presence in their lives, and to celebrate the life of our brother, our father, our friend, uh, Nevin Momo. Uh, before we start anything, I know there's a lot of things uh, lined up in terms of singing and worship, praise, and exhortation. Uh, let us all just start with uh, an opening prayer. Let us pray. Our dear Lord and Master, we thank you. Mighty and everlasting Father, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, we give you praise right now. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. And there is no God like you, Lord. Father, Lord, your word has said where two or three are gathered. In your name, you are present. Father, we know you are present with us. We commit this program into your hands, Lord. Take absolute control, take absolute dominion and authority. Arrest every heart, arrest every thought, arrest every mind in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let your Holy Spirit take absolute control right now, Father. Any spirit that is not invited, oh God, rather, Father, we say we bind them in the name of Jesus. Your word has said, O oh God, what we shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Lord, right now we commit the Momo family into your holy hands. Father, Lord, we pray. We ask for your guidance. We ask for your support. We ask for your blessings for the Momo family as I cover them right now in the blood of Jesus. At this time, Lord, I pray that you strengthen them. I pray that you comfort them. And I pray that, Lord, you will provide for them even at this difficult time. Lord, our God, our Redeemer, we know that they that put their trust in you, you will never let them down. Father, Lord Jehovah, your word tells us that in all things we should give you praise. And your word also tells us that there is always a time for mourning, a time for joy. But right now, as we are mourning, we are finding strength in you to celebrate the life of living Momo. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. We give you all the praise. Take over completely right now. Take over completely right now in the name of Jesus. Father, let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Philip, the Lord bless you for such an awesome prayer and awesome words. Um, uh, anybody from the Momo family from Nigeria 
Would anybody like to say anything before we move on? If any of you want to say something, please just raise your hand so that the moderator controlling the program will see your raised hand and highlight you to speak. I'm just going to wait for a second. Anybody from Nigeria that wish to contribute by praying, saying, singing, please do so by raising of hand. Thank you very much. Um, I have Dr. Momo, NHA, raising up your hand. Please, can you unmute yourself? Okay, I'll put you on spotlight now. Okay. Thank you. Um, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, it is a sober day for us, but the Father of mercy, the God of all comfort, is able to comfort us so that we can comfort ourselves in this tribulation. I pray that God will comfort us, and I pray that God will help us uh, as we mourn, as we celebrate his life, as we remember Niven, we grew up together, and uh, I knew him right from childhood to the day he died. It is something that uh, is going to take a long time to believe, but the Father of mercy, the God of comfort, is able to comfort us in this tribulation. I pray that we will all be able to comfort one another in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Dr. Chris, Dr. Chris, are you on board? Dr. Chris, if you're with us, can you raise your hand so that the moderator can also see you and highlight you, please? Dr. Chris? I'm right here. Go. Okay. Um, Blessing, can you find him? Sorry? Blessing, can you find Dr. Chris? Um, Dr. Chris, please, where are you? I'm here. What's your name on the screen? The screen is showing patience. Okay. Yes, it's, yes, it's the same. It's my wife. <laughs> okay, no, it's just for me to see what is on the screen. In order yeah, to find it. Yes. Okay, I've seen you. Okay, Thank if you can locate you are, Dr. Chris, on spotlight please, now. A word from you, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what you're asking me to do now is the same as what you asked me to do earlier. <laughs> Go. Yes, yeah, sorry. What you're asking me to do now, yes. is it the same as what you told me to do jo earlier? Do, what, do whatever the spirit needs you to do, please, sir. Okay. Um, my brothers who had spoken before me had clearly told us a lot about Brother Neven thus far. But all I want to say is that Neven lived his life and he had a family. He had a wife and he had three children, three girls who are growing into big girls now. I spoke to them yesterday and I reminded them that there is a responsibility expected of them to live their life in such a way that everybody would know that Nathan didn't die for nothing. It's amazing we're speaking of Brother Nathan the way we are doing today. Because sometimes in life, things happen to us in such a way and in such a manner that if you're not careful, you begin to ask the question, where is God? But for me, 
we don't need to ask where is God because God didn't go anywhere. He's still God. And he doesn't change his position. Neither does he change his standing with his children. And that's why I thought what to say today. And one thing came through my head as I was thinking about it this evening. You see, in the life Judith. of Hannah and her husband, Elkena, both of them wanted children. Elkena in First Samuel was the man of God. So you see, but his wife, Hannah, didn't have a child. Even as she was desperate to have a child, she was hurting to have a child. And the enemy put somebody beside her called Penina, who caused her so much mayhem, upheaval, and trouble in her life that she began to even wonder, could God have forgotten me? And that is life. Sometimes things happen to us in life that we begin to wonder, where is God? The thing that has happened to this family, the Navon's family, Momo family, is such that if you're not careful, you begin to ask, where is God? But God does not change his position, does not change his relationship with us, and he will never change. And therefore, this woman called Hannah was so worried about having a child that she decided to cry unto God to a point where even her enemy, the other lady called Penina, began to think that she was drunk, even her husband, she was drunk. And that's why I thought before I say anything, I'm going to say it for another five minutes, then I'll leave it for everybody to speak. In First Samuel chapter 1, 27-28, I'm afraid I cannot speak without mentioning these words. First Samuel chapter 27 and verse 20. Uh, First Samuel chapter 1, verses 27 and 28. And he says, I read it from King James Version. For this child I prayed, and the Lord had given me my petition unto. And the Lord had given me my petition, which I asked of him. Verse 28 says, Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worship the Lord there. For this child I prayed. This is Elkanah and the wife, as it were. Testifying of the goodness of the Lord. Even though they went through hell, the wife said, for this child I prayed. How many prayers have you prayed? And it seems as though God has not answered. And that's why I describe life as a university. A university because you cannot know about life without having experiences through life. And the only Payments, school fees you have to pay as a child of God in this university called life is your obedience to God. And therefore, if you pay your fees in this life university, God will take care of you and nothing can happen to you. And that's what I told, that's what I told the three girls yesterday, Pearl, I told Ruby and I told Jasmine. Daddy is no longer there. Mom is there. But three of us, three of you, must determine in your hearts, yes, my daddy is no longer there. But we have a life to live. And all we are here gathered is not to sob or to cry. Yes, we can cry. But all we are here gathered to do today is to tell each one of you that there is nothing else you have to stick to in life but this God. And we, 
are praying today. As Hannah said, for this child I prayed, we are saying for three of you and your mother, we have prayed. We are going to pray. Asking God to intervene in everything that concerns you. I'm sure when my brother was alive, he went through things in life, went through experiences in life. And in spite of what has happened, can you change any of them? You cannot do. But some of them we all know, all of you know. But you have to learn from the things he has taught you to be able to move forward in life. You must make up your mind to ensure that nothing distracts you from what you are doing. And God Almighty will make sure that what you are trusting him for, even though he's no longer here, but your mother is there and our brothers and our sisters are here who can offer one little advice or the other as you move on in life. No matter what lifting and no matter what elevation you enjoy, remember, somebody paid the price for you to get there and to enjoy. Nivon did not die for nothing, therefore. Every challenge as a believer, as you go through life, is to question your belief in God. But that shouldn't be the case with you. Keep moving. Keep going. And trust God. He who has brought you thus far knows why this has happened at this time. It is your determination to win and to overcome that can sustain all of you in life. He did not die in vain. The name of Nivon Momo is not a name that should be just forgotten like that. He has left three of you and your mother. The God who looks after his own children, protects and shields his children, shows them the way, we show you the way. You will bring people, men, who will come into your lives to give you favor that no man can give. Protection that no man can protect. And above all, guidance and leading in this earth. So that we shall see you grow up in life and will give glory to God. Thank you for your for an evil's life, for the family's life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Dr. Chris. Thank you for your encouraging words. We appreciate it tremendously. And can I just add it for everybody concerned, not just the Momo family in Nigeria and the Momo family in England. We are all family. We are all affected by his death. And one encouragement I'll give everybody is, at least through his death, I'm beginning to see the other side of his family that I may never have the privilege of meeting. So that is one good thing. And for that, I give God all the glory and all the honor. Thank you, sir, for those words of encouragement. We appreciate you. Um, is there anybody else, please, because time is going. Is there anybody else from Nigeria or any close friends of um, Mr. Momo that would like to say something before I pass it to the families in England? I just want to be fair. Anybody else, please, from Nigeria, from the Momo family, please, just by show of hand, or if you're from America, Napa, Roosevelt, I can see you. Anybody who wants to say anything, raise their hand. I can please. see someone that is S, S Man. I don't know if the person wants to speak. S Man. S Man, please unmute yourself. Yeah, I can't see. The person doesn't have a video or anything. I don't know. But I can see the hand up. Okay, it's here. S man, can you hear us? Okay. We can ignore I will lower his hand. Um yeah, go on. Sorry, Ma. Okay, yes. So are they speaking? Hello? Okay, let's move on. So, is there anybody from Nigeria moving on? Anybody at all? Any member of the family from there that would like to say something, sirs, ma'ams? Anybody at all, please? Yeah. Please feel free. 
Good evening, all. Good evening, sir. My name, is, my name is Tony Momo. I'm the eldest of them all currently. And, uh, we really missed him. It's not easy since he died on Tuesday. But we know God is comforting us. The, we take solace in him alone. Pray that God will comfort every one of us, more so the, especially the children and the wife. And we pray for grace, the strength to be upright to serve Lord Jesus Christ. That at the end, we'll be found worthy before him. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Um, Brother Lawrence has his hand up. Brother Lawrence, can you hear me? Brother Lawrence, are you there? Brother Lawrence, unmute yourself, please. Please, Lawrence. Lawrence, can you okay. hear me? Um, Brother Lawrence, I can see you. Unmute yourself. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can you can you hear me now? Yeah, we can. You on yes. spotlight, sir? Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, it's a very sad occasion because uh, this is something that we never expected that will happen, but we cannot shalom God. Uh, the joy of it is that uh, it's left the children and all the other family, why, you know, their mom, leave them behind, and they are in a very good position. And uh, it's a pity we cannot see him, because the day I heard about this incident, I nearly dropped because I couldn't believe. And somebody called me from Nigeria saying he was trying to fly to Abuja to go and meet him the following day. And before he boarded the plane, the news came to him. So whatever has happened, eh, so I mean, we don't know which day, but uh, he spent his own time and he did not die as someone who did not know God. Therefore, I know that his soul is going to rest in peace and he's, going to, he's already made it to heaven. And those that he left behind, I pray that they will continue to uh, enjoy uh, their life, you know, and whatever they are doing. So I pray that in the name of Jesus, everything will be well with the family. We're really sorry that uh, uh, the unexpected has happened, but God is in control. Sorry, children. I, I was so sad when I heard and um, when I spoke to the wife, uh, I said I will come and see them. So I'll be there tomorrow anyway to go and see them. So uh, just take heart and be strong. And we'll continue to support you in every way possible. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, we're just gonna have a little break from speech at the moment. The Momo girls, Mr. Niven's daughters, Pearl, Ruby, and Jasmine, would like to raise a song. Uh, would like to raise, to raise a song. So I'm going to hand over, over the phone to them to sing the song. Please, if you know the song, join them in Jesus' name. Here they are, the girls, Momo girls. Hi, thank you all for joining us. Um, it's not the best of times, but we're grateful that everyone is here. Um, we're really appreciative of the life that our father lived. Um, and we're glad that he was able to bless people in the way he was able to, even though we know he wasn't perfect. But we loved him regardless of that and for who he is or who he was. So we pray that we can make things go. We pray that we that God can bless you as you have blessed us in each and every way. We'll meet you. Okay. Do you want to start? 
There's nothing worth more that can ever come close. Nothing can compare. You're a living hope. Your presence, Lord. Hey, I've tasted and seen of sweetest number where my heart becomes a dream and my shame is undone your presence sing Holy Spirit Holy Spirit you are You are 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because you're with me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Thank hallelujah, you. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, these are the angels that Nivi Momo has hallelujah. left behind. Jesus. They're not just God fearing, <laughs> they're not just doctors and lawyers. <laughs> but one thing you can rest assured, and I can attest and testify that these children are God fearing. Holy Ghost fell on fire from God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. This is the reason why none of us can stop praying for these children, for the Momo family, not just these ones, the ones in Nigeria, because these girls are destined for greatness in the name of Jesus. Their father may not be here to witness the totality of what they become, but he knew before he died the road they were going. So they, as proud as the father was of them and still is wherever he is today, we all are very proud of you girls and will continue to stand by you. You are not on your own. You have God the father, God the son, a host of angels, plus, hallelujah, plus all the families, the Momo families, and as your family here, the Lord continue to strengthen you all. You guys owe me because you made me cry tonight and I didn't want to cry. You owe me big time. Right. Um, is, is Omar there, please? Omar, are you with us? Yes. My son, Omar. Yes, I am. All right, son, over to you, darling. All right. Um, can we just uh, say a little prayer? I, 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 and in this case, I want to pray for for the family of uh, Brother Niven um, and those who are on this call. And, and I will read a little passage from Scripture. I think the best thing to encourage us right now is the Word of God, what he says about this type of situation that uh, we find ourselves in. I'm sure we all agree it's not something we planned or imagined to be honest when we started uh, January 1st this year I don't think even Uncle Niven would have thought this is what we'll be doing um, uh, in the middle of July but uh, like uh, the girls have said we we choose rather to put our hope and trust in the Lord so please let us let us uh, bow our heads in prayer our Father and our God we are grateful to be able to rely on you at this particular point in time. We are grateful that Lord, even though it is proven now that we don't know 
the end from the beginning. You do. It is proven that, Lord, we may many are our thoughts, many are our plans, many are our aspirations, many are the projects we lay our hands on. But Lord, you are the one who decides what happens. This has taken all of us by surprise, but we are confident that you knew that today would come. And so, Lord, we ask for grace and strength. We ask that the love that you have put in us, that even the love we have for Brother Niven, which has caused us to gather, that that love will not fail at this time. Mm -hmm. We ask that, Lord, you will strengthen us. That we are confessing that if you don't help us, this is going to be, it's going to be too much for us to bear. And so we humble ourselves and say, Father, please help us at this time. We need your help. We need your comfort. And we are grateful that you promised that comfort. You showed us that we should call on you in the day of trouble. You have already promised. And Lord, we know that even as we call on you, that every single one of us, Although we suffer different levels of hurt, every single one of us, Lord, your spirit is able to massage our hearts and bring us comfort. I pray that, Lord, even as you comfort us all on this call, and even those who have not been able to join, that out of the comfort that you will comfort us, that Daddy, Auntie Faith, Pearl, Ruby, and Jasmine will have a multitude of people who haven't been comforted by the Holy Spirit, we will also extend hands of fellowship and comfort to them. We hand over this evening, this week. It will be challenging, but we hand everything over to you. And we trust that, Lord, everything that you need to put in place, you will put in place to guide us and walk us through this period. Amen. You will take care of us in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Moving on, please. No, Tony, please. I'm going to ask, if you don't mind, I'm going to read First uh, Thessalonians chapter 4. That's fine. And I'll read from verse 13. I have chosen this evening to read uh, NLT, the New Living Translation, because it's more it's more relevant to even my daughters, uh, the young ladies here and the younger at heart. And now, dear brothers and sisters, verse 13, we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have died so you will not grieve like people who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. We tell you this directly from the Lord. We who are still living when the Lord returns will not meet him ahead of those who have died. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. First, the believers who have died will rise from their graves. Then, together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. Verse 18. So, encourage each other with these words. And I, I, I you know, anti-faith, uh, and you lovely girls, you know, if the Lord says we should encourage each other with these words, he already knew we would experience a day like today. So I want you to know that by the grace of the Almighty, in fact, Brother Niven will be cheering you for on to make sure, encouraging, you know, you, if he could, he would want to come and preach the gospel the true gospel of Jesus Christ to you. If he could, he can't, 
but you have the scriptures to guide you now. And he would want you to make sure that when the Lord comes back, you are caught up with the Lord. That would be his greatest desire for every one of us, even on this call, but most especially for you four. And I pray that as you go through the, 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 the coming days, keep that in your heart and strive to be with the Lord when he comes back. Because our prayer and our expectation by God's grace is that he will be among those who will meet us in the clouds as well. All right, Auntie Tony, thank you very much. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Um, anybody from Sister Faith's side, I've seen Roosevelt and I've seen Napoleon. Anybody, please, that from Sister Faith's side or even from the Mormon side that wants to speak, please put your hand up so that the moderator can locate you. Omar, put your hands down. <laughs> Anybody, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> please, anybody, please raise your hand so that the moderator can locate you and highlight you, please. We want everybody to have an opportunity because that's the sort of person we are dealing with today. Mr. Niven was a man of the people for everybody. So please, please, please. Oh, a hand is raised up. Blessing, can you see the finger that is raised up? Blessing. Can they use icon, um, the blue icon? I can't see. Or the person can, if you can tell oh, me your name. Oh, is it Hadiza? No, it's F something. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll mute Extra your star. camera. Okay. I can I've yeah. done that. Yeah. You want to speak, right? I can see your hand up. Yeah. I really don't trust myself to say much right now. I I just want to say um, to Faith and the guests that um, I'm with you all in prayers. And um, in fact, I, I can't speak right now. I really, since I heard this news, I've not been myself. I am his um, favorite niece. I grew up with him. And I never expected this to happen at all at this time. And it has been a horrible time for me and very hard time for me. I, I don't know what to say. I just pray that he's with the Lord right now. And God will be with us all, be with the guys he left behind, his wife. I pray for all of you to take heart and be strong. Just seeing the three guests this evening, has given me the courage to be strong myself. I thank all of you all for putting this together this night. It really gave me a relief to see that something has been done on his behalf. Amen. It pains me that nobody can really be with him because what the kind of person he was, I really couldn't believe that this will happen and nobody will be able to be in his, you know, I mean, to be at his barrier, you know. I, you know, the last time I spoke with him, we planned that after this lockdown, we all meet in England. I never knew that was the last time I was going to speak with him. I really find it hard to I don't know. <clears throat> My darling sister, the Lord bless you. The Lord strengthen you. May the Lord comfort you. May the Lord truly comfort you. Just know that you are not on your own. We are all praying for each and every one of us. So it shall continue to be well with you. The Lord will wipe your tears away. Your tears will be a language unto the Lord. As you go to bed tonight, you feel the arms of God around you. And God will give you the blessed assurance for you to know that it is well. Amen. That this too, hallelujah, Amen. shall come to pass. Amen. And the Lord will open doors in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, 
lesson, there is a, 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 a Mr. F. Shaka. Uh, she's finished. She's finished. I saw Rita's hand up. Okay, and Mr. F. Shaka. I'm looking at the people that raise hand here. Rita, please, can you unmute yourself? Hi, um, good evening, everyone. and. I'm sad that it's on this occasion that we are meeting as a family <laughs> and it's actually a big blow for all of us. I'm grateful that I had a good relationship with Niven. And for me, I tried like I always do. <laughs> I reached him out, I reached out to him in, on February 2nd, which was his birthday. I didn't hear back from him. So I was like, maybe he was busy or something. I usually do that. But in April, on, I think April 8th, because when things like this happen, we go back to see when was our last communication with people so that it will look like we ended up well with them. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what I did. He, he texted me on April 8th and we got talking again. And I'm so glad that even though this has happened like maybe three months after, he was a brother. I remember when my, my husband died in 2012, he was the only family member on both sides well i know my siblings did some things for me and my kids but he was the only in-law that gave my son went to uk after the burial and he was the only one that called my son even gave him a little purse which is something i felt like wow it's even had a good heart i will not take that away from him and i'm glad that it happened and i trust that i asked paul when it happened i said look when people die of covid that does it do they have a chance to you know, some of us feel like um, when a Christian goes home, my prayer is always um, like, did we have a chance to do those last minute amendments with uh, Mika? And I remember Pell telling me some days back that yes, COVID does not take your, your consciousness away. You're only going to be gasping for breath and all that. So I'm glad that he had a chance, even if there was nothing else. I mean, it wasn't an accident that happened suddenly. I trust that we all who are alive will learn is a lesson. We can push with people, but I trust that we will be bold enough to push, um, push for peace at all times. I'm glad he's going to be with the Lord, and I have confidence that he made heaven. And it's a lesson for those of us who are living to push for peace at all times. Family, friends, life is short. We don't know when it's our turn. Um, may his soul rest in peace, and I pray that faith and the girls, <laughs> God will see them through life ahead without their dad but i know there's grace there's a grace for every widow out there Amen. thank you thank you thank you mm -hmm. um mr f shack i can't i don't know what is on your on your screen i can't find his name here is that what is on the screen yes that that's what was on the screen for a while um, see if you can find him. He's had his hand raised for quite a long time. If you can't find him, uh, if you can tell him to unmute himself. In fact, I can't even find him anymore. I'm not sure whether he's locked out. So, Mr. Ed Shaka, please, if you're there, just unmute yourself and speak, please, sir. Okay, I think, bless him, while we're looking for him, find somebody else who's got a um, grace. A couple, Lavenda, please unmute yourself. Okay, good evening, everyone. My name is Lavenda Calabro. I'm the younger sister to Faith Momo. And we just want to say thank God because I remember in June, Barrister Momo called us. You know, we normally, he normally communicates with my husband. So he called us, I think, second week of June, and he told us his plans that he planned to do. And so the plan was they're going to catch up again. So, but we didn't know that that was going to be the last time we'd be in touch because when all this happened, we went back to check when was the last time we spoke and found out it was in the middle of June. 
So as at that time, he was physically healthy. I just want to say something then. I've known him even since the day he came to marry my sister. I remember I used to join, I used to be, I was less than Pell's age when he came. And I remember whenever, whenever he comes, I would jump and grab him and just jump on his chest and, and that's it. So he's been like a brother. He's a peacemaker. He's not a side talker. And one thing I know he's done, he's left a legacy for his children. He's desired that they'll be able to stand on their feet. My husband and I, this morning, we just took a stock of what had happened. And he said, it's like the man knew that things were going to happen, but he didn't know when. So all he's done is like he's put, put the foundation and the platform in place for his children to go through and the wife. So I just want to use this to kind of encourage my sister Faith and her three kids. We call them PR. Everybody just me that please don't see this at the end. See this as just an opening where daddy has left a legacy for you to follow. He's raised you up as good girls. This is not the time to begin to think that God has abandoned you. But it's a time he's given you. He's taught you the foundation. I remember when you were in Abuja as babies. I used to, I looked after Pearl Ruby and Jasmine as babies. And I remember I used to go to church. He taught you the foundation. He made you people go through what it takes to know God. Now you are grown. He's left that legacy for you to continue. It may be like yesterday. We will all go away. The days will, will fade out. You will all be left alone. But know that God has never forsaken you. And he will never forsake you. And like I said when we called the other day, even if it's 2 a.m., you feel like having a talk, you have my number, just wake me up. And we can talk to you. So don't isolate yourselves. Don't hide. It's okay to cry. I was telling my sister this morning that since this happened, the entire family moved into one bed because we just couldn't put, swallow them. Just, it was a hard pill to swallow. So we just want to thank the Lord that in everything we should give thanks. And I want to say, Faith, you've been a pillar. I remember when you were, your children were not here, you had these little dolls. Every day you were praying for the, each, each dolls, one representing each one of them. Today we see them all molded up because it's the power of prayer. I want this to kind of challenge every family here. To give your children a legacy, like my sister said, Rita. Nobody knows what happens after now. And the COVID situation actually makes it even worse. But we just want to say thank the Lord. And I thank all of you. And I look at 68 people on Zoom call at this time of the night. It's an achievement. It's a record achievement when it's not a CNN program. It's a record achievement for someone who has gone. And I want to say thank you, everyone. We are grateful. We are grateful. And I want to say may the Lord bless you and keep you. And let the Lord God Jehovah, whom we serve, be your guide, be your watch. And he will leave his, the Holy Spirit he has left with you to okay. guide you and to protect you. Do not be afraid because the Lord will never leave you. In fact, he becomes a husband to the widow and a father to the fatherless. Hold on to the and doors will open for you. Amen. Thank you. Bless many of that raised hand. If um, there's no raise Napoline, Napoline, do you want to speak? Okay. Can you can you <laughs> Sorry, please, if you're not talking, can you put yourself on mute? Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Napoleon Enajapo. I'm the younger brother to Faith Enajapo. Um, my little words I have to say about Barista and even Momo has touched my life, has been great. I do recall the first time I ever met with him was at Abuja Airport. He came to pick me up in 1989, came to spend halls when I was in secondary school there. He made, my, he made my stay there a wonderful time. And ever since, he's made sure to reach out, which is on, I use the word, 
on Africa as an elder, he was the one that reached out towards me than me than towards him. And um, he usually calls me MD, gives me an opportunity to have a little chit chat in terms of my own line of work and what I do. Uh, I and my wife, we just had, we had a refresher and remember that he reached out to us May this year, congratulated us on our, on our bundles of joy. He apologized that he had, um, he lost our numbers, but got them back. And um, it was surprising, but his voice as usual, which was calming and soothing, told us that uh, it was an opportunity, we wouldn't have waited this number of years, but it was a great time. I really miss him. Uh, however, I do appreciate and thank God for whom he has left behind, my sister Faith, and uh, Pearl Ruby Jasmine, which I call Pepu, Minko, and a baby. They, uh, Niven has left a large gap at the gap, gaping hole in their lives, but the opportunities God has given their lives, given to you, Pearl, Ruby, and Jasmine, is that you are ger gems, shining gems for that matter. You already shown that he has placed good things in your heart, your generosity, your independence, your forthrightness, and your intelligence. These are things that don't come easy just by virtue of being one person, but you have, it has happened because God has placed this in your heart and you have not disappointed any family. The Momos, the Anagicals, you have not disappointed anyone. And we are super duper proud of you girls. Uh, I and my wife, we are really happy. I can see even uh, Sir Imaswe here. He will also introduce me to him some time ago, sometime in early 2000s. I'm so grateful because he never was a cheerful person. He was a friendly person amongst his brothers, amongst his peers, amongst his colleagues. He was someone that was like, I would use the word, a pioneer, a frontier, someone who could see beyond what people see in the instant. I thank God I met him. I thank God he shared and imparted in my life and the life of my family. And I do pray and I know that God has given the opportunity of his daughters and his family, great heights, which they shall achieve, overcome, and surpass in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Nafa. Please, before another speaker, can Brother Iman Swain and his lovely wife. Brother, Brother Iman Swain is one of um, Mr. Neven's closest friends. It was through Niven I met this so-called gentleman that Napo is talking about. So, uh, Brother Manswen, are you still with us or are you with the village? Are you with us? Brother Manswen, raise your hand so that you can be found. And yet, I've written on the... On the... Is it uh, anti -herita? Okay. Yes, blessing. Thank you. Good evening, like everyone. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Good evening. I, 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 my husband will speak. I'm too upset to speak. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Um, it's really very tough for me. I don't know. Very, very tough. It's really, really tough for me. It's been tough right from the time I got the news. But because we trust in God, I've been able to get myself back a little bit. Um, I just want to say one or two things about Niven. Uh, Niven, a great friend, a great brother, a great professional colleague. I remember about 12 years ago, we came into Milton Keynes and uh, we have to do our immigration thing. Migra uh, oh, Niven wow. took it up pro bono. It helped me so much that everything was settled without even giving him a cover because even as a lawyer, he did everything so well and he is that kind of person that takes the interest of everybody as his own. He has helped so many people, he has taken 
control of so many issues for people, you know. Even right in Abuja, he has this NGO that he has done so many pro bono cases up to the Supreme Court. He calls me at times, he collects clothes, he collects things for people just to make them happy. That is an event for you, you know. When I was in Nigeria, anytime I go to Abuja, I make sure I stay with him, even though I, maybe my company will have booked a hotel for me. No, I will insist I go and stay with Niven because we have to stay. Niven was the only person who could sit down all night and talk from eight o'clock in the evening till six o'clock in the morning. When I was in Lagos, he would come to Lagos and stay with me. That was how we sold off ourselves. When I lost my mother three years ago, Niven left Abuja for Benin to stay with me for the burial. That is the kind of person Niven is. I really missed him. The daughters, the wife, they are great people. I just want to tell them that they had a good father. And where he is today is better than, than where he's coming from. I would thank God for your life. That is the life of the children. I thank you. Thank God for the life of the wife. And I just want to say, be strong. And um, God, God is in control. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Amen. Brother Master, thank you very much. Before Brother Ola speaks, um, is there anybody from Nigeria, anybody from the um, Momo's family, please, that we want to say something? Please, this is an opportunity for you. Please, anybody at all from the Momo family that would like to speak, either a friend, a friend of Nivi Momo that is in the midst, anybody at all, before we pass it over to um, the, the newer ones, before Ola speaks, anybody else, please? Um, Just by the show. Precious, Sorry? you unmute yourself. Sorry, someone is raising hand. Precious. That'll be me. That's easy to got my other name is Precious. Okay. Um, You're on spotlight now. Okay, good afternoon. Good evening, all. Um, it wouldn't have been right at all for me not to um, speak on behalf of Mr. Niven. He was indeed a, a great and humble man. Um, his law firm was the very first firm I worked in and he treated me as though I was his own daughter. Um, there are times he was hard on me and I didn't understand, but I realized how much of a father he was trying to be so that I could be better. And I really appreciate him and I am gonna miss him because he's a wonderful human being, a very humble human being who puts people before himself. Um, I love the fact that even when I was working at his firm, he took pride in his firm and in his work. And there were times when he tried to advise his colleagues and they didn't listen. Um, and then they realized their mistakes later. Um, he's so intelligent and so wise in what he does. And he really strived to leave a legacy for his children. Um, and to make sure they are strong when he is gone. And indeed he's done so. He's raised fantastic children and he would be proud even where he is. And he must know that everything he worked for was not in vain. And even though he's not here to see it, his legacy will live on through his children, through his family and through his wife and through all those that know him. And to the Mormon family, um, we say that, um, to live is gain, but also to die is gain. Because when we die, we're ultimately going to our creator. And know this, um, when it's your time to meet your maker, you will meet him again. Um, my prayer for you is that the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your heart and mind. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, I have, I have Dr. Momo, NHA. Right. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, everybody. Uh, in particular, I want to thank Faith and the children there, Ruby and Jasmine. We are grateful for, you know, being together this night to celebrate your dad. Your dad was a great man. You've heard what people said. This is true. In the last. Uh, three years, the family bonded so well in Abuja. And I want to thank our eldest brother here, uh, Tony Momo. Dr. Tony Momo brought all of us together. 
and we had meetings almost every other month. And your dad did not miss any meeting. He will always be one of the first to arrive very punctually and will be sh shared with us all his aspirations, his charity work, setting up a shop, a charity shop to take care of uh, the less privileged and the number of cases he handled up to Supreme Court for free, pro bono was his key word, you know? So it's amazing. And, uh, you know, his uh, legacies will live on. Everybody knew him to be somebody. If you brought a case to, his first thing was not about money. It was about why did they cheat you? Why should they do such to you? You know, he would try to get to the root of it, you know, with all vigor, before even talking about whether you can afford it. And if you cannot afford it, he's not going to abandon you halfway. He will take it to any level, up to Supreme Court, investing his money in everything to make sure that he won that case. And he won so many cases. A few weeks ago, one of the cases was announced on national television that he took to the highest level of the court in the land and won, pro bono. And he has just recently concluded plans, you know, to file for senior advocate of Nigeria and set up a chamber that would befit that. So I know that uh, he made peace with every member of the family. He made peace with every member of the family. I recall a few months ago, we had a meeting in my house, a family meeting. And in that meeting, our eldest brother, Tony, was informed of a misunderstanding between Nive and his young, immediate younger brother. And uh, Nelson was asked to narrate his own side, which he did vigorously, and Nive narrated his own side. And that day we wept. The reconciliation was so huge. We wept, we, 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 we reconciled, and the two of them, you know, agreed to live together as brother and brothers and mm -hmm. then everything was forgotten and they agreed on how to move on from there i can never forget that episode because it would have been a sore point if he had died with mm -hmm. any animosity with his brother mm -hmm. this is his only brother the same mother and father in terms of you know, relationship, and they had a misunderstanding. And I want to tell you, the children, look, your brother reconciled with his brother. Amen. The presence of every member of the family. You know I mean, your father reconciled with his brother. And it was so beautiful, the way it should be with Christians forgiving one another, loving one another. And I'm so happy that he did not bear any grudge against anybody. Mm -hmm. So this, I believe, is one of the reconciliation and the peace that he made with God, because it was a huge problem how to solve this matter. But we solved it openly, and it was beautiful. We wept, we, 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 we cried together, and we just reconciled them. And that was the most beautiful thing I can, I will continue to remember that about him. You know, his, his soft part is such that he can bite, but if you, if he can also give up every right in order to reconcile with people. So I want you to remember him that, look, he had aspiration, he walked towards it, he wasn't a greedy person, and he, he worked so much for people he didn't know, free of charge. He made charity donation, he collected charity on behalf of many people to be able to help them. So I thank you all for listening. And I pray that this legacy of charity, this legacy of love, this legacy of forgiving one another will live with you and you carry it on to, to, to the glory of God. God bless you. Dr. Jeff, uh, Jeff, yeah. Yeah. Dr. Jeff Momo, 
thank you ever so much truly appreciate your words honestly it's it's soothing to know that uh, after so many months or thereabouts peace was made and the family that the devil wanted to separate became one for that would give god the glory that is an assurity that our brother made peace and made heaven so to god be the glory for that brother ola are you still with us Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Good evening. I haven't got a lot to say. I just want to um, thank God for um, the life of Mr. Niven. Um, I want to say detail to everything everyone has said so far. Um, he was indeed a very kind man. Um, and one of the most peaceful persons that I've ever known. Um, um, I've, I've said it time and again, and I said it to the, to the family when I went to visit, um, that I remember when I had immigration issues here in the UK. Um, uh, he, apart from God, he, he was probably the most instrumental person um, to my remaining here. Um, and I would never forget that he was very, very kind indeed. And I would, I would remember him. You know, the Bible says the memory of the just is blessed. And every time I remember him, he would always be blessed memories. And to the children and the, the wife and to the entire family, um, please accept our condolences at this time. It is um, my prayer and the prayer of my family that God will uphold the family at this time. And that God, God of all comfort, will indeed comfort you. To the immediate family, to the wife and the daughters, um, we are here. Um, as, as much as God will help us, we will stand by you. And um, it is our prayer that God will continue to uphold you and uphold the family. And that um, when it comes to our town, because it's an appointment, um, that it is the time that we don't know. Um, the rest assured that one day we will all meet our maker and I just want to live, live every day like it's the last uh, so that when the time comes should the Lord tarry that we will be with him um, but be encouraged at this time keep you Love you and our prayers are with you. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Um, sorry, we've, we've got blessing. Sorry, darling. We've got um, a Mr. Lekon at the bio. Mr. The bio, are you with us, please? If you are, raise your hand so that the moderator can highlight you, please, sir. Uh, yes, my can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Blessing, can you locate him? Yes, uh, the camera is not on. Oh, okay, you can speak, we can hear you. Okay, okay. that's great. Yes, uh, Barista Momo, uh, like everybody said, was a very, very nice man. Mm -hmm. I remember here in England, when they moved from uh, London to Mickey Kings, uh, I was privileged to come and wait for them at Mickey Kings you know, to help the family to pack all their stuff from London and uh, move into a new house they bought in Meeting King for the first time. And to me, it was a, just a gesture because as a friend, you know, but he wouldn't, he, he, all the time he sees me, he kept thanking me. I said, no, that's, that's, that's all right. He won't forget little things that somebody has done for him. He's always thanking me and thanking me and I said, no, that's enough. And the last time I spoke with him was when he came round in England there. Yeah. And on the phone, we didn't have much time to talk. And he said, look, my brother, when I get back to Nigeria, I will, I will connect with you and we can talk and we can pray together. I, unfortunately, that didn't happen. And it really pained me. But, you um, know, I just want to buttress uh, one of the speakers earlier on was talking about First Thessalonians chapter uh, 4. And I want to encourage the family from verse 13. 
uh, on, in King James Passion, he said, but I will not ask you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them that were asleep. Pramomo, Barista Momo, is asleep. He's not dead. Unfortunately, he's no more here with us. But he's not dead. The Bible says he is asleep. So, somebody sleeping means that one day we're still going to see him again. And that, and according to us, based on all that we have had this evening, of all the things that God has used him to do, of all the life that God has used him to touch, that is a challenge to every one of us as Christians. So that we will not just spend our life, but we will um, infest our life. Let's infest our life. Let's you know we're part of people who had life well spent. Pastor Momo's life was not well spent. His life was well infested in the lives of others. So we are encouraged by all that we have had, and we trust and we pray that God will continue to comfort the family in Jesus' name. I'm not, I'm not surprised that the children are doing very well. They all, they, they, they all resemble their dad. Barrister Momo is a man of courage. He's a man of integrity. He's a man, he, he doesn't settle for less. <laughs> Barrister Momo, me and him, when we chat, he's a very nice, jovial man. He's very soft on the outside, but he's very strong inside. He told me, he said, he said my brother, look, don't settle for less. Don't, don't set, I said, look, Barrister, why are you going back to Nigeria? Let's continue to struggle it out there. Let's, Let's make life living here. Yeah. He said, no, 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 look. And look, he said, look, I'm a senior advocate of Nigeria. I'm not a senior advocate. I'm a senior advocate in Nigeria. I said, okay, if that is the case, look, that's a man, he does not settle for less. It's not, you can't, you can't walk over him. He's gentle on the outside, but inside, very strong man. So when I see all the children, I can see their dad in three of them. You know, they are very strong inside, and I pray God will continue to strengthen you in Jesus' name. So as Christians, by special grace of God, we continue to pray for the family, we continue to encourage the family. All we can do at this time is just to agree and accept the, 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 that God has taken him to rest. And one day, each and every one of us, we are going to see Pastor Mama again. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Amen. The time is really, really far gone. Um, but before, no, no, before, girls, before um, Brother Oscar speaks, is there any two, is, two hands that are up since? Do you want them oh, to speak? Okay, okay, please. Roosevelt. Roosevelt, oh yeah, that's Sister Faith's brother. Okay, yes. What's the, who's the next one? And then there is, um, you see, Ilara, and then... Techno F1 and then Momo Moshu Moshu. Okay. Yes, yes, the all three can speak. Carry on. Okay. You're on the spotlight. Oh. Hello. Hello all. Uh it's Roosevelt here. Um uh, moments like these are uh, really not sure how to speak. No, it's just uh, sudden, unexpected, unfortunate, and um, you always wonder two very scenarios and how, you know, how come, how, how could this have happened? And you also start thinking, you know, what if this, if you had done that, if you had done this, and it's all trying to justify, you know, the inevitable, but um, it's, it's a natural course. So, where I'm going with this is um, Pearl Ruby Jasmine and my sister Faith. It, it's never a good time. And it's obviously is a very hard time for all of you and for all of us put together. But if there's anything to be found out of this is the, like everyone here has already mentioned, a testament to the, the, the amount of, of, of sacrifice and the amount of belief he has in you, his children, and in you, his wife, that you would find 
some level of comfort and encouragement to be able to move through this hard time with all that has happened without trying to go through the various scenarios on how come and you know how could he have been avoided i want to encourage everyone to every one of you to not dwell on that it's it's not easy it will not be easy it, it, it's unexpected it will, you will always rum, ruminate through every single option and possibility but dwelling on that you may miss the very salient thing behind all of this is focusing on the moments that you've had the the, the times that you've cherished good and bad and that becomes the holistic perspective to have in memory of your father and your husband it's not going to be a a a a a, a quick path you should find the strength and the encouragement to walk through your life with your dad with your husband so that you will take memories and picture picturesque memories of the experiences that you've had so that in moments down the line down the line as you live through your life you will find moments that those memories will give you strength in they will make you quip and they will make you laugh and smile it's not going to come like a flood it will just come as a trickle as you move through your life so cherish those look to those do not look at it with fear and despair but look to them as a source of encouragement confidence you already have all the life skills that you need to be independent we all know this this is this is this that that is besides the point your faith is strong that is besides the point but the life experience that you have with your dad cannot be replaced only you have those moments that you individually can cherish no one else can share those with you so that being said my only sense of uh, uh, of hope and push forth of encouragement is to you right now is just linger and dwell on those in these hard times because you will be able to pull through you will pull through not be able you will pull through but as you move through your life i want you to remember those moments because that is what you have at this point to make you stronger to make you wiser and to make you happier even though it may not seem that way at this moment so please be strong and may god be with us all and be with you especially in this moment of hard time all right thank you bless and release the next speaker please okay thank you um Lara, okay just give me a minute i'm coming to you Okay, here we go. Um, you vomit yourself. Oh, a long time. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Yeah. Um, Pearl, Ruby, and Jasmine, Auntie Faith. Um, when Auntie Tony called me three days ago, it was just too shocking, and I'm still in shock. So f- forgive me if my voice is kind of trembling, but I I found the need to say something. Um, I I met um, Uncle Neven um, because Neven solicitors had to exist. And my family uh, was privileged to be in partnership with him. And I must say that knowing him was very reassuring because he was a lover of God. He loved Jesus. When when Niven Solistos was established, it was it was based on the word of God. Every day in and out, he would pray. Mm-hmm. When they open up the office he would pray. When when it was time to close the office, he would pray. In between, 
he would pray. He brought in fasting. He kept, he, he brought in so much light into the head of my family and that reflected in my family. I know Uncle Neven as a man who loved God. And just watch you girls sing tonight. I'm a worshiper. I could feel how spirit filled you sang. Just the way Uncle Neven wished and loved for you girls to be. And I'm so proud. I, I admire Uncle Neven so much because he's a man of peace. He's, he's, he, he brought in so much peace to my family. He spoke to me. He didn't see me as a very little girl who was married to his partner. He saw me as a woman, despite the fact that I was so younger. And he always reassured me of the love of God. He, he's very calm, very subtle. He's extremely matured. He's, he's a wonderful, he was a wonderful, extremely intelligent man, extremely hardworking, very focused. I'm glad to hear someone say he's, he's soft on the inside, but he's tough on, on the outside. He's, very, he's a go-getter. He doesn't just stop. He pushed, he pushed, he pushed. And I remember very well when it was time when God said to him to move, to Abuja, which meant, you know, the, the Neven solicitor had to change and, and close. And I, I just, I, I, I didn't know. I felt like, whoa, it was like, okay. So who, who is going to be our guardian? Who is going to support my family? But I, I, I thank God because I met him again um, years ago at Antitoni's. And once again, I, had, I was there with my three children. And he said, oh, no, 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 come over. And he prayed. He continued to show me that he was a man who loved God. And he made me see that without God, your life is empty. And I respect him a lot for that. I respect him a lot for that. And I, 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 I am so glad that I can see that in you girls. And Auntie Faith, as you know, um, I, it's such a blessing that I've met Uncle Neven. It's such a blessing that my family was able to work with him. It's such a family that it wasn't just about working with him. He was like a father to me. He was a, like a father to my children. He showed us love. He made us understand what love is about. He showed us, he explained to us, he, he made us understand what it meant to live in peace. And it's just shocking, but I'm grateful because just watching Pearl, Jasmine, and Ruby, and Auntie Faith today, I know that, you know, Uncle Neven has lived the way God wanted him to live. And I'm just thankful for the life that he has lived. And I know, and I believe, Auntie Faith, your name is Faith. I know that you're a woman of faith. I'm so close to you, and I know you're a woman of faith. I have no doubt whatsoever that you're not going to go through this and come out strong. I know for sure. I know very well that you have faith, that your strength is in God to help you with your beautiful ladies go through this and come out even stronger. And I just want to thank you all and everyone for today. I might not be able to put my words together the way I ought to, but I just want to say that Uncle Neven lived. He lived. I'm a, I, I was privileged to walk to, to, to um, I was privileged to be so close to him and I know that he lived. I know and I'm thankful for the life that he lived and thankful for what uh, for how God has used him in your family and my family. And I'm also thankful that Uncle Neven was not just used by your family and my family. He was used in Milton Kings because of Uncle Neven, right? Uh, Bletchley knew that there was a legal farm. Black Milton Kings felt the impact of having a solicitor in the community, not just a solicitor, a solicitor who had the foundation 
in Christ. And for this, I just thank God for the life of Uncle Niven. Thank you. Fadike, God bless you. You said it so eloquently. For somebody who's not certain whether they spoke well, you spoke fantastically well. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to keep you, girl. The only way for you, girl, because I know your story is up. And the God who started it is more than faithful and able to complete it. Thank you for those lovely words of encouragement. Um, um, bless what, Namely, what, do you what, have? Um, please, if you can, sorry if I pronounce your name wrongly. If you can unmute yourself, sir. Good evening, Good evening, Good evening sir. Yeah. Uh, my name is Moshud Mama, uh, nephew to Niven, but he was like a brother, I was like a kid brother to him. Uh, we stay in Abuja together here, and uh, I have so much respect for him for being a very consistent person. Niven was a very, very consistent person. I would not want to say most of the things my elder brothers have said, that is the Dr. Tony and Dr. Jaff Momo, they have mentioned uh, most of the things that I wanted to say because of uh, that is in the area of his humanitarian life. He has been so caring to the less privileged. That has been said. And uh, from what the last speaker said, uh, Sister Lara, uh, he is truly somebody who he was truly somebody who showed so much love to everybody around him he is really a peacemaker he was really a peacemaker i remember vividly whenever we visited the village together whenever there is any issue with anybody you see him calling the parties involved to one corner he would just be talking to them quietly once you are coming close, he will tell you to excuse them. He will talk to them, plead with them. The, the summary of it, I will just let them know, please, there's nothing in this world. Why are you quarreling? Why are you having issues with yourselves? Let this matter be. Live like brothers and sisters. Sisters, you don't have to quarrel. We have nowhere else to go. We are a family. Let us live like a family. And there's one important thing that I would love, I would really miss about him, is his love for God. We have, as a family, we have a platform in Abuja. You see, we mama family. We meet more of, uh, monthly. We meet, we come together to meet and discuss issues affecting the family. His lega, any issue that is put on the table to be discussed. He will always bring his legal views to advise the family how we should treat every issue, how we should deal with every issue. He's always viewing every. He's always viewing every. He was always viewing every issue from that legal perspective and how God will look at us. He makes sure that we don't make mistakes. And one good thing about him again every day or every other day there is he must send a message to the platform prayers every day he will send a word of prayers every day he will send a word of prayers every day and i want to shock you i want to shock you we spoke we saw we spoke a week before he passed on and it was like he had a premonition it was going to pass. On July 1st, he sent a message. I want us to listen very well. He sent a message to the platform. That was July 1st. The, 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 the thing was season of rest and celebrations. I'm reading from my phone now from the platform. All my brothers still have this in their phones. They can confirm that. Season and celebrations. Months. On the first day of the month, which was the day he sent it, ye shall have an holy convocation. Ye shall do no survival work. It is a day of blowing the trumpets unto you. 
Numbers 21, 29, 1, verse 1. When God commands your rest and celebrations on the seventh month, you can you, who can challenge that? He said this on the first of July. When God commands your rest and celebrations on the seventh month, who can challenge that? And he rested in the month of July. Prayer, still in the message, by the authority of this prophetic mandate, step into rest and spontaneous celebrations every day of this seventh month. There shall be no causes in Jesus' gracious name. That was his message on the first. Now read this. And Ezra priest, Ezra the priest, brought law of vision. Amen. And I could hear with on the, on the day of the seventh month. He said unto them, eat the fat and said unto them, for whom nothing Head, holy on our Lord, neither be ye sorry for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8, verse 2 and 10. That was the last message he sent to the platform before he passed on. That was his last message he sent on the first. Subsequent days, we were just talking and chatting on the phone. I've not been feeling well. I've gone to the hospital. Uh, we will ask everybody to contribute, we'll ask questions if he has been taking medications and all that. What am I saying here? Why am I saying this? It's like he knew that he was going. It's like he knew. Neither was a man of God. He knew he was leaving us. But we knew he was going to go. God knows him. He was already with him. He has gone to God Almighty. And this is to console us that he did not come to this world in vain. He came, he saw, and, and he come, and he has deposited that in our minds that we should hold on to God in every circumstance. Every circumstance we should hold on to God, and God will continue to watch over us all. The kids, the wife, we pray God will continue to comfort you and comfort us all. I want to really appreciate people responsible for this Zoom tonight, and God will all bless you and the all participants too. God bless you. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Thank you ever so much, Mr. Blessing, do you have any more amnesty? Because our time is going. Is there anybody else? Amen. Okay. Bless? No. Anybody okay. else want to speak? No. Um, Brother Oscar, are you still there? Is Brother Oscar there or is he gone? Oscar Odaru. Oscar, once. Is there anybody on the forum that would like to speak? I saw Brother Ade, I saw Abby, I'm not sure which Abby. I saw quite a few people. Anybody else wishing to speak? Anybody else wishing to speak? Am I to the Nigerian sectors? Are you all happy? Anybody from that side wanting to speak again? The Mama families, raise your hands. Anybody wanting to speak again, please? Because okay, we know yeah. someone wants to speak in Phoenix, yeah. Okay, who call um, them? Unmute yourself, sir. I think he's the first person that spoke before. My name again is Tony Mona. Okay. Organizing this tonight. Tonight is fast spent. We have a lot tomorrow lined off for his burial ceremony. So you can join us from nine o'clock. Where we'll be in the mortuary. But well, I assure you one thing that Niven is resting very peacefully. Because this Sunday we will be in his house or his chamber for prayer and dedication. Mm. God didn't allow it to happen. And 
But we thank God for the life he has lived from all the testimony we have received. Amen. God will sustain and keep all of us in Jesus' name. As far as children, their father will be very proud of them and they should not relent, keep trusting God and God will be with us all. So we we'll join you all to join us tomorrow because around nine o'clock from the mortuary until we get to the burial ground at Gudu in Abuja. You will, you will see him again in that form and we trust that we all will be alive and to live in Jesus' name. Amen. Ultimately, end of the day. Thank you very much for this so that we we'll continue to celebrate and not mourn again. Affliction shall not come a second time in Jesus' Amen. name. So that Amen. we see each other and rejoice. Amen. Thank you very much. All right, sir. So, thank you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. Now, we're coming to a close now. Brother Tony Oifo will pray a closing prayer. And the Momo girls want to sing. Oh, sorry. Brother Tony Oifo, please, can you close for us? Uh, because as you've heard, our big uncle said, tomorrow morning is a busy day. Everybody needs to get some rest. So, Brother Tony Oifo, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Good evening, everybody. Okay, just um, come close for us in prayer and then we'll all go. Thank you. Okay. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you so much for tonight. Daddy, we thank you for all the wonderful testimony of our late brother that has gone to be with you. Father, we appreciate you, oh God, even for his life, for the journey so far. And it pleases you, Father, to call him, call him home. And so we return all glory unto your holy name. Accept our thanks and praise in the name of Jesus. Ancient of this, I want to commit to God the entire Momo's family unto you. Jehovah God, I ask that you comfort them on every side in the name of Jesus. Lord, at this time, I pray that you will support them and cause them to be strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Eternal Rock of Ages, I commit even the immediate family unto you, Sister Faith and the three girls. My Father, my God, I ask you are the way maker. You will make way for them in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will strengthen them, Lord. You will uphold them, O God in the name of Jesus. That I pray, oh God Almighty, even for tomorrow, God, the barrier, I ask that you will take absolute control in the name of Jesus. Oh, that let it be well with the entire family. Jehovah God, I ask, Lord, that your son, Father, will rest in your bosom in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, my God, I pray tonight that as many, oh God, that are even, that's calling tonight, that are here to know you, oh Lord, that are here to give their life to you. Holy Spirit, I ask yeah. that you minister to every heart in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, we thank you and we bless your name, O oh God. We give you all the glory, even for this uh, program that has been packaged for tonight, O oh God. Lord, as we go to our bed tonight, Lord, we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. And decree that no weapon that is from the grace of shall prosper. We also mm -hmm. pray, O oh God Almighty, for the remaining months of this year, we shall, we shall not suffer any loss again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we put a, a hold to every form of death, untimely death in the land, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank and we bless you. We give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace together. Now may the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you all. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well done. Nigeria, please stay safe. Everybody in Nigeria, please continue to stay safe. Amen. Thank you. Those in England, America, wherever, continue to stay safe. Canada, Amen. Europe, Germany, Amen. Brunswick, Ireland. Amen. All right, bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Well done. Yes. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much. You've done very well. Thank well you. Done. Amen. Bless. Bless. I'm going to call you. Yeah. Bye bye. 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 bye.